Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. As part of our focus on Long Island higher education, we went to Brookville to meet LIU President Dr. Kimberly Klein. I didn't think about going into education early on, but I became legal counsel at a university. But then because I had marketing skills and other accounting skills, I ended up doing more and more. Um, before I was here, I was at Mercy College for five years as president. And then before that, I was vice chancellor and CFO at the State University of New York. If you ate any of these breakfast cereals as a kid, the post name in LIU Post should sound familiar. We're situated on 300 acres. Um, it was Marjorie Merriweather Post from Post Cereals um, Family Estate. Um, she was married to E.F. Hutton. We have his estate on campus as well as his nephews. We have equestrian barns. And I've probably been to maybe 200 or so universities, and I would say we're in the very top of the beauty of the campus. The LIU Post student enrollment is about 8,400, but the inclusion of the Brooklyn campus changes the numbers dramatically. We have students from 38 states and 50 countries. I would say of our freshman population, probably about 60% of them living on campus. Collectively, we have about 18,000 students across LIU, um, Post Brooklyn, and we, we have about 30% of our students that are graduate students. Under Dr. Klein's tenure, more and more education is happening outside the stereotypical classroom. Um, we also have engaged experiential learning um, into what our students are doing. So we've created student-run businesses on campus where they can actually get real-life experience taking the lessons that they learned in the classroom and now applying them. In the Hillwood Commons, there's a clothing store that is student-run from sourcing the products to producing profit and loss statements. Now we have these cool fabric scarves, which I love. What I love about these boots is that you can wear it with a dress, you can wear it with pants, anything you want. They're so versatile. Across the hall from that is Browse, an Apple-approved electronics store. Marketing students promote the outlet, web and app developers work on the site, and business majors run the books. 50% of the profits go to scholarships and the balance is reinvested in new student businesses. There's also the student-run sweet shop, the Wall Street trading floor, and the student business incubator. So if we can have a, an LIU-born venture go from idea to IPO, then that is, is, a, is a great goal, but it's also more about learning and really growing and, and your way of creative thinking. Whether it's creative thinking or creative expression, the Tillis Center entertains and educates. The Tillis Center, which is arguably one of the best performing arts um, centers around. We just had Jay Leno, we had Natalie Cole. And then when we have groups out, for example, the Alvin Ailey dancers, when they're out here, they do master classes for our students. Speaking of classes, lately, LIU athletes have been schooling their opponents. Our athletics program, Division II, is number one in the East uh, as far as championships. But we also have student life that has a lot of um, good quality so I think it's a really good balance the popularity of athletics at post led to the Bethpage Federal Credit Union signing a 10-year stadium naming rights deal that's worth 1.5 million dollars when it comes to tuition LIU has committed to rate increases of 2% a year through 2020 According to inflationdata.com, that is lower than the current average rate of inflation, effectively making an LIU education increasingly more affordable. We want students to be able to go to college without worrying about finances. And what else can we expect from LIU in 2020? We also want to be number one leader in experiential learning. We want to have a campus that students are fully engaged. Hopefully we'll have some um, business leaders where they develop companies while they were here. And, well, and then we want other students that are going back and being professors and, and really to make sure that they're giving back as well. Because if we are preparing future educators, then we're also preparing future leaders. 